Hi, I'm uh, Tom Keating. I'm a Senior Director of Engineering. I'm also the Managing Director of the Ireland R&D Operation. FireEye basically are protecting organisations' most valuable assets. And we do that through an underpinning technology that we have created, which is fundamentally changes the way in which we look uh, at securing this. Not alone do we detect and look um, at existing threats that are already out there, we have an ability and means even to identify new threats and block those threats. Sure, um, the rules we're looking at now are, are into the three areas where we're trying to expand upon. Um, build engineering, uh, performance engineering, and we're also looking at globalization, and that's the whole area of internationalization and localization. Um, first area, build engineering, we're really looking for, now that the organization is expanding here further, we have a lot of uh, internal systems and we really need build engineering expertise be brought in to manage all our environments and the various setups that we have inside there. In performance engineering, because our technology is, is enterprise level, uh, when you talk about enterprise, you've got to have talk about performance, scale, load, all those, let's say, things that go in part with, uh, with, with enterprise. And we are trying to expand and create a new team that works in parallel with our existing core engineering team that will champion that area and lead that area and uh, help us to, let's say, advance our technology into that whole enterprise space. And complementing then on top of that, we're going to look in the whole area of globalization. Now, globalization is a mix in between internationalizing your product and localizing your product. So we want a, an element of expertise inside the business to span across our technologies and it'll allow us an ability, because we're, we're a multi, um, let's say, language, we've uh, organization that's spread across the globe, we're running our technologies on multiple language versions of operating systems, and then also there will be a demand and a requirement to have those localized, so hence that's why we're, we're expanding those three areas. Obviously, the industry that I'm in, in security, that, that's a growing industry at the moment, and because it's going through, uh, let's say, uh, the next wave of development, so that's going to be a real challenge for um, companies like ourselves, finding the security expertise out there to bring them in particularly to our security operation centers but then also finding uh, the skilled IT software QA engineers architect type people performance engineers the, the whole gambit the, the industry itself you know it's continued to grow uh, across the field but I still think within Ireland the biggest challenge we always have is getting highly skilled software engineers and quality engineers it doesn't matter what field it's in I fundamentally believe the biggest thing is to really be a problem solver you know, one of the things that too many people may be too focused on, and I'll take software as an example, they might look to see what is the actual, let's say, language of the, of the moment. So let's say it's C, let's say it's Java, let's say it's Python. That's very important, but actually that's just an implementation. I think really where, where candidates really to focus on is to be coming into a, an organization, particularly at an interview stage, and showing that they're going to solve problems. They're going to help the organization solve problems and that they are of value in there. That's the main key thing to sell. Your resume and your degree and, and whatever qualifications you have will be enough to get you into that conversation. But when you're in there, demonstrate to an organization that you have that ability to take whatever problems they are and that you are adaptable. What they need to make sure is, and maybe what I articulated earlier, is where they don't want to be just a one-trick pony. They only know a particular technology or maybe a particular type of implementation or a particular scale of application development or, or whatever the case, whatever their profession is. I think the key thing is uh, they have to be able to keep up to date with what's going on out there in the, in the space because technology is changing so fast, implementations are changing so fast, new ideas are coming in and I think that's fundamentally important. So if you're thinking of changing your career or moving, let's say, you've got to a certain level within an organisation as it happens in all cases and you want to go to another one, the key thing what they want to know in a new organisation is that you, know, you haven't just been in there doing what I would class as doing a job you've actually had a role in there, you've been adding value in there, and you've expanded yourself. Mm -hmm.